Hello, everybody! Whoa, that's different. Uh, well, that was a volume thing. I don't know what I pressed there. But anyway, welcome back to some more Neo Scavenger. Let's continue playing, shall we? Uh, kind of exploring. Oh, that's right. We stopped right when we are about to go to sleep. Anyway, we're kind of exploring as it is right now. Um, things are going pretty well. Uh, I also, I am going to end up swapping a couple of things here. We're going to take this and this. Come on. This and that. And we'll have to wait till next turn to do it. But I'm going to take the Dogman coat instead. Um, there were a couple people saying uh, that that is worth it. But that's about it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take it. I have half a mind just to not take it. Because you're all a bunch of assholes about it. But I'm going to take it anyway. Alright. <laughs> let's uh, pop this sucker on. There we go. We'll leave this behind. We're getting weary. We're a little bit uh, burdened. But uh, that's fine. We're going to set up camp. Um, I need to make sure I take this back. Come on, why is double clicking not working? Does it, oh, maybe it just does, auto oh, I already have a multi-tool. What the F? Where'd this one come from? Probably from the campsite, I presume. Okay, uh, so we're going to go ahead and take that and put this in our campsite. And we will sleep for the night. We were getting pretty tired there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dog man. Welp, we're going to have to fight him, so we might as well. I will advance. I'll let him advance towards me. There we go. I'll lure him into a trap. Hopefully it works. Player's exposed. Dogman has fallen to the ground. He upper right arm was scratched. Lower right leg was also slashed. So now he's on the ground. We can hopefully beat him into a bloody pulp. Crushed his lower chest with the with the crowbar. Now he's coughing up blood. That's good. It stunned him. Uh, um, I just hit him. Um, I smack his lower left arm with the crowbar. Not bad. Let's see. Da -da -da. Oh, I missed that time. That's fine. We can hit him again. I pounded his lower left arm. His arm is crippled. He's stunned in severe pain. He's having trouble concentrating. Hopefully we'll be able to get him on the ground. Uh, it looks like we did get him on the ground. Yeah, we're beating the hell out of him. This is good. Just going to keep on doing that. He's getting up, but I, ooh, I missed that attack. Oh, I'm on the ground. That's not good. Oh, he tackled me. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully, oh yeah, okay, he's fine. He's unconscious. He basically, he tackled me and then just fell unconscious. So I'm just going to kick him until he's dead. Um, he died due to acute bleeding in the lungs. Totally all right with that. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's how that works. That's how that goes down. Back to sleep, shall we? Sleep with this dogman corpse near us. Prop it up as a warning for those who may come across my body. That's what I would do. The bastards. But I love the crowbar, man. It's one of my favorite weapons. I just like the pure viciousness of the descriptions of, of just beating uh, like a dog man with a crowbar. Where you can like cave his chest in and shit. I don't know why. I just like it. Does that make me demented? Maybe a little bit. But only in the video game, man. Only in the video game. I just think it's a quite brutal weapon and it suits it suits the post-apocalyptic world so friggin' well. Alright, um, we are doing alright. We are still a little thirsty, but we have a couple places we could still uh, scavenge, so let's go ahead and scavenge them. And hopefully we'll come across enough berries to sate our thirst a bit more. And more edible berries. This is just full of edible stuff. How about these mushrooms? These are also edible. Definitely want to eat the mushrooms. Plenty of water within them. Now we have one more stretch of woods that we have not searched yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Looks like we got oh, poison berries. We got so much water. All right, I just took a sip of one. I just took a little sip. Just a little sip. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Don't be mad. I had to sip a little bit of water. All right, let's move on. Let's take a look at the map for a second. Still got quite a bit to go. Um, still looking. We did see an armed man walking around not too long ago. So hopefully we'll come. Oh, okay. I would like to speak with you. He is advancing. All right, well. Okay, well, he's going to fight me. I'll charge his little freaking scrawny ass. Oh, I got, I, I fell. I fell as we charged. Now I'm just going to advance and wait for him to get closer. Hey, buddy, what's up? I'm going to parry your Oh, he's a blue frog church member, that's why. He tried to tackle me, but he missed because I parried him, essentially. I'm hard to hit. So now I can crack his skull wide open because he's an asshole. As I, I punched him? That's not what I wanted. Melee attack. Uh, I missed. I'm easy to attack for a moment. He tackled me to the ground? What an asshole. Time to get up. Lure him into a trap. He, uh, Blue Frog barely affected the player's armor with a crowbar. 
Boom. Is he on the ground? Looks like it. Blue Frog has fallen to the ground and must regain his footing to continue. He's exposed to an easy attack. He needs a moment before acting. His lower stomach was scratched and his left leg was pelted. Good. Down with you. Uh, I just hit his lower left arm. Let's kick him while he's down then. Kick him while he's down. Right leg was pelted, so I cracked his leg as he tried to get up again. It didn't work. His upper left arm was battered. He's still back on the ground. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit him. His lower chest was hit. He's coughing up blood. And he's desperately trying to run away, but he can't. Going to keep uh, things closed on him. I'll try to lure him into a trap again. All right, he's on the ground. Now I can just kick him. He's having trouble concentrating. He's beaten so badly. Man, these these battles are so this that's what I think that's what's so great about these battles and why they're so immersive even though they're just text. They're so drawn out. You can see this fight happening. It's not two people professionally fighting. It's two people scrapping with each other, desperately trying to kill the other one with makeshift weapons. It is a horrible sight to imagine. Um, but it, it's so imaginable in, in this particular situation in the wilderness that was once a city. You know, it's terrifying. Um, it's, it's just, I think that's why I enjoy it so much. Not enjoy it because it's brutal, but it's just so good at presenting or making you imagine what's going on right now. So he's unable to move again. Gonna keep on beating him. And he passed out from unbearable pain. What did I, where, where did I hit him? I hit his leg and he passed out from pain, but look at, he's like, left leg crippled, doesn't need to run, fallen, vulnerable, in shock, unconscious, and bleeding. And then I just will cave his skull in. Uh, I crushed his, I crushed his chest, actually. What do you have? A backpack. That is almost as in good condition as mine. Worth actually emptying this out and holding this in my hand. He was eating poison berries because he's dumb. And I'll take everything else that I had. And a pot, because apparently I didn't have one. Did I leave it behind? And he had this, this. How about his crowbar? 3% condition compared to my 87% condition. Much, much better spot than he is right now. Or he was. I'm not gonna eat it. Can cannibalize if I desperately need food. Um, when I didn't take a botany as a regular thing, I would cannibalize bodies all the time. It worked nicely. It did. Um, kind of interesting flavor text, though, when you did it. Not gonna lie. I mean, one day you'll see it. If I'm about to die or something and I have a chance, maybe I'll show it. But it's hard to tell when you're about to die. I'm actually gonna take these small assorted parts. I already had a bunch. I'll take this little string. Really want to find this little army place. Oop, I didn't mean to end the turn there. It's starting to sweat. Okay, that's actually not a good sign. What I could do is probably just take this off and this off and just wear that. Take off the extra cl the extra layers. We'll take that water. We have a couple extra bottles, so definitely something we can manage. Go for the hills, baby. Go for the hills. Something over here. Am I still sweating? No. I'm comfortable now. Good to see. A couple storage sheds. These are very, very, very valuable if you can, if, or they can be very valuable. Next turn, we'll do the next one. And we'll do, oh, a couple lighters. That's it. Well, we'll, we'll make sure we hit up the, uh, the forest too, though. Good chance of finding some, at least, are you serious? Just some mushrooms? This whole place sucks. I was hoping to find berries in some water or something. What a piece of garbage area. Going in the next set of woods. Put me inside, baby. Let's see if we can get anything good out of this one, maybe. Maybe, baby. Alright, this will hopefully save our thirst. Mushrooms. Nope. Alright, we're good. We can definitely gonna want to heat up all that, or boil all that water. Gonna keep looking around the surrounding zones just until daylight crashes, which should be next turn of the turn after. Um, but oh, another storage shed. Keep cracking that sucker wide open. Nothing useful. Um, it's gonna be here. Yep. Well, let's do a quick scavenge of the area. I wonder if nighttime actually hires our sneak capabilities. It would make sense if it did. I hope it does, but I don't. No, if it does. But like I said, it would make it would make the most sense. 
I have no turns. I want to actually get a campfire going. Just a small one. Trapping. Woods. Confirm. And some tinder. Okay. Um... I don't know how much water is unsterilized that we have. I don't think it's much. That's why I'm only going to use a small one. Yeah, that's the only ones. Okay, done. Campfire, campsite, go ahead and do that. Whoop, I clicked off accidentally. All right. Oops. Stack those into the bottles. And we will sleep. Good night. Staying warm by the fire. Again, it could give our position away a little bit, but no bigs. Let's go ahead and take all this stuff off. Dirty rags seem to have done their job. Are these still clean? Wow, they're still clean. I don't know how that's happened. Because there was bruised, I think, actually. That's why, Mathis. Don't be a dingle dang. That's why. Why are we awake? Oh, uh, well. It's about time, anyway. Let's grab our sleeping bag and continue exploring. Hopefully find what we're looking for. I want to keep going up or this way. Let's just keep exploring this way. Pop on a hill there. Nothing. Oh, here we go. Some city area now. And I'm curious if we're going to find the, chur the Church of the Blue Frog anywhere soon. Hopefully we will. Very curious what could possibly come out of it. Or the event, the event chain that would happen because of it. Oh, oh, for a split second, I thought it'd be good. Sterilized water pill. No shit, you put purification pills inside water. That There was really a need for a freaking recipe for that? Like, someone was stupid enough to need a recipe to do that? People, man. They aren't the brightest people in the world. Yeah, that's why this whole thing went to post-apocalypse. It was like idiocracy in a way. Where people were just became so stupid they could barely even support themselves in the world anymore. Oh. And death caps. Death cap for cutie. Ha <laughs> ha. Dated reference joke. You're welcome. Whoa. There's a loud splash. It's an old sewage treatment pond. Full of rainwater, floating rubbish, and dead rats. Somebody trashing around in there. Thrashing around in there, unable to swim. If you're quick, real quick, you might just be able to pull them out of the water before anybody else arrives. Have to strip, though. Looks awfully cold in there. They're thrashing around so much that even up close you can't tell who it is. If you're going to dive in and save them, has to be now. Dive in. You can't stand back and let somebody drown. Look around for something long enough to grab them onto. Might not be the best option, but you don't want to get wet. Let's just save them. Let's be heroes. Who knows who I'll be helping? Ignore them and scout the perimeter for the, of the tank for any items you have left. Let's dive in. Whoa! Temperature shock! This is freezing! You reach the person and they wrap their arms around your body, vice style. Both of you sink below the surface. Desperate, your arms spit, pinned. You bite clean through their ear. It's enough. You kick frantically to the surface as they grab at your legs, reaching the edge. You climb out of the tank, shivering violently. The fuck? I went in there and the dude just bit me? Are you kidding me? All right, hold up. Let's go back in here and let's put on the hoodie. Let's hopefully that'll let's uh, end turn and see if that yeah that upped our that upped it a bit. What the hell, man? I go in, I dive into the water to save this guy who's drowning. Maybe he was trying to commit suicide. Whatever. Either way, I was trying to do the guy a favor, and he just fucking grabs out of me and tries to kill me with himself. Like what the hell? This world is evil. Hello, dear. Do you want to play a game? There's no way I'm going to be able to catch up. I have to catch it off guard. They're way, way, way too fast. Alright. We're good. We're slowly starting to warm up. Uh, let's start drinking. Whoa, I don't... Actually, you know what? Let's actually go ahead. No. Let's go ahead and drink. This will give me, like, a caffeine high for a little while, but... just want to kind of use it so I can put some water in it next time. I can't believe that guy did that to me. What a douchebag. You taste the corny refreshment. Absolutely corny. Gimme, gimme, gimme. This will help my thirst. 
Edible berries. Boom, boom, boom. All right, good, got lots of water. Gonna keep on searching for a bit. I can't believe that guy bit me still. What a douchebag. That's just like, why would I help anybody ever then? Why would I want to help anyone? Screw them all. I don't want to help them anymore. I'll let them all die. I should've just like waited for them to drown and then maybe dove in and tried to steal whatever shit he had. Hello. I'll take this shoe. I really want that, another one of these shoes. I've only found that one. Makes me a little sad. Was hoping that maybe I'd be able to do something out of, make something of it, but I guess not. I don't know if like it maybe it'll give me like better. I don't know. That just looks like a badass shoe, so you'd think that maybe it'll give me a better like walking pace. This looks like somebody's campsite, which definitely worries me a little bit. Noise trap has been sprung. See if anybody ends up showing up. Oh, come on. I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. Looking for this little city town to hide in. Let's go ahead and crack open this before we call camp. Nothing. Um, we don't really need to worry about boiling any water um, this night, so we can actually just set up camp and sleep, which we will do. Hopefully we will uh, not be attacked in the middle of our sleep. Player can see again, that's good. Uh, give me this back. Don't want to take that empty bottle. I have enough bottles. I hoard bottles. I think it's like a uh, it's a uh, side effect from playing Project Zomboid. I place I hoard so many bottles because they're so useful in Zomboid that I would feel like they're incredibly useful now. There's a lot of I'm just trying to see how many city tiles we're looking at over here right now. All right, daylight's around. Let's pop over here. Quite a few, quite a few. But I think I'll save looting them for next episode. We'll wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, come back tomorrow for some more daily Neo Scavenger. And consider dropping a like as it helps me out a great deal. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.